I, I found myself in most lectures on mathematics that I heard in 1966 and 67. I, I sat in the back row and I said, so what, so what? Uh, computer science was becoming much more exciting to me. And so, uh, and so when I finally made my, dis my career decision as to, as to where to go, uh, uh, I, had, I had four main choices. One was stay at Caltech. They offered me a full professor in mathematics. I could go to Harvard as a full professor in applied science, which meant computer science. Uh, I mean, that was as close as you could get to computer science there. At Harvard, I would have, my job would have been to build up a computer science department. Uh, um, and Stanford, where we had the best, the, the best group of computer scientists in the world, uh, already there, and knowing that computer science had a, a, a great future, and also the best students in the world uh, there uh, to, to, to work with. Um, so it was already, the department was already built up. I could come to Stanford and be one of the boys instead of, and do computer science instead of, uh, instead of argue for computer science uh, and, and try to do, do uh, uh, brain uh, uh, barnstorming. For, uh, and, and Berkeley uh, uh, was the fourth place where, where I also, can, uh, uh, I, you know, I, 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 I th admired Berkeley very much as a uh, probably the greatest all-around institution for, for, for covering everything. Stanford would cover whatever th everything Stanford covered. It covered well, but it didn't have a professor of Sanskrit, you know. And Berkeley has a professor of Sanskrit. That, that kind of thing. Uh, but I was worried about Berkeley because uh, uh, <coughs> Ronald Reagan was governor, and the the uh, the I, I couldn't. You know, the, uh, uh, Stanford was a private school, wouldn't su subject to the whims of, of politicians uh, so much as uh, as the uh, uh, University of California. So so I and but and, and and then Stanford had this great other, other thing where the faculty can live on campus, and so I knew that I could come to Stanford and I, I and for and um, uh, the rest of my life I would be able to bike to work. I wouldn't have to have to do any commuting. So. And Forsyth was a wonderful person, and all the group, all the group at Stanford were were, were great, and the students were, were best. So, so uh, it was almost a no-brainer for why I finally came to Stanford. And it was a month after Volume Volume One had been published, and George said, "Oh yes, the everybody's all smiles now." They, they, the, the committees were saying, "This guy's this guy is just 30 years old." Yeah, yeah, that's what um, I meant by going out. Yeah, yeah, right. And and uh, you know, I, I was born in thirty. This is sixty-eight in here, January sixty-eight. But the, but then when they looked at the book, they said, "Oh, there's some credibility here." Yeah, um, yeah. Um, and one of the things that we were discussing was um, uh, Don Knuth uh, wanted us to also hire Bob Floyd. It yeah. turns out that hiring Bob Floyd was a wonderful idea. Bob Floyd yeah. was magnificent. But uh, it hadn't occurred to us until you brought it up, mm -hmm. and then we did it. Can you go into yeah. that story? Yeah, that's yeah, because because Bob was uh, had, was was a very special uh, 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 very special person to me throughout this period. Uh, <coughs> I uh, as I said, I, I'd been reading the literature about programming languages uh, uh, avidly, and, and when I was asked to write a book about it in '62. You know, I, I knew that there were these people had written nice papers, but nobody uh, knew how to sort out the the the, the uh, weeds from the the tares from the wheat. So the um, uh, and and uh, at the in the early in the early days, like by 1964, uh, I would my my strong opinion was that five. Uh, good papers about programming languages had ever been written, and four of them were by Bob Floyd. Um, I, I met Bob the first time in summer of 62 when, when I had re was working on this compiler for this Fortran compiler for, uh, for Univac, and, <coughs> and uh, at the end of the summer, we went to the ACM conference in Syracuse, New York, and Bob was there. And uh, we we hit it off uh, uh, very well from the right away. He was showing me his strange idea that 
you could prove a, pro a computer program correct. Uh, something I had nev never occurred to me. I mean, I, 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 I said I, um, I, I was, uh, I was a, a, I was a, a programmer in one room, and I was a mathematician in another room. Mathematicians prove things. Programmers uh, write code, and they and they hope it works, and they twiddle it until it works. Uh, but Bob's saying, no, you don't have to twiddle. You can you can take a program and you can say you can you can give a mathematical proof that 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 it, that it works. Uh, he was way ahead of me.